this is a small plant let's see the different parts of the plant these are the roots of the plant this central line this is the stem or shoot of the plant and these are the leaves of the plant leaves are also called as kitchen of the plant as the process of photosynthesis in which the green plants prepare their own food takes place hence it is also called as kitchen of the plant this part it is called as pedicel this is called as thalamus this is the first floral whorl that is calyx the colored part this is called as corolla this yellowish part and this tube like structure this is androecium and this is the gynoecium so these are the floral whorls all the floral whorls they develop from the thalamus and this part this is called as pedicel or stalk of the flower now let's see the floral whorls one by one the first floral whorl as we have said this is called as calyx now calyx it is green in color and if we count this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so each member of calyx it is called as sepal when they are fused together then this condition it is called as gamosepalous but if they are free from each other then the condition is called as polysepalous so see if they are like this that is they are separated from one another then the condition will be called as polysepalous so these are free from each other and if they are fused with each other then the condition will be called as gamosepalous and free then it is polysepalous this is another floral whorl which is called as corolla here this is corolla and the individual member this single member it is called as petal each member of calyx it is called as sepal and each member of corolla it is called as petal calyx it is green in color but corolla it can be variously or brightly colored depending upon the type of the flower this is the third floral whorl called as androecium and each member of androecium it is called as stamen this is the gynoecium and each member of gynoecium it is called as carpel so this is stigma this is style and this is called as ovary so these are the floral whorls calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium this is calyx this is corolla this is androecium and this is gynoecium there is one more or extra floral whorl these outgrowths these small outgrowths these are called as epicalyx epicalyx it is the characteristic of family malvaceae since calyx it is green in color it also performs the function of photosynthesis but when the flower is in bud condition the calyx protects the inner floral whorls the colored corolla it helps to attract the insects for the process of pollination the first two floral whorls that is calyx and corolla these are called as 
accessory floral whorls this calyx and corolla these are accessory floral whorls as they do not take part in the process of reproduction whereas androecium and gynoecium these are essential floral whorls as they take part in the process of reproduction androecium it is also called as male reproductive part and gynoecium it is called as female reproductive part this part this is stigma this is called as style and this is called as ovary inside the ovary ovules are produced the individual member of androecium it is called as stamen this is a single stamen this dot like structure this is called as anther and this line it represents the filament together it is called as stamen inside the anther pollen grains are produced so these all are the floral whorls of a flower